Tiger salamander. As do most amphibians, tiger salamanders start their lives as aquatic larvae or tadpoles, but they are unusual because their eggs can develop into two different kinds of tadpole. These are the so-called normal morph and the cannibal morph. The cannibal morph has a larger head, bigger mouth, and more developed teeth, and is larger than its normal siblings. Usually the cannibal morph appears only when the pond where the eggs were laid starts to dry up, or when food is scarce. They eat smaller tadpoles and develop more quickly as a result, metamorphosing earlier into adults. This clever, if brutal, survival strategy allows tiger salamanders to successfully breed even when the circumstances are not the most idoneous. The most amazing thing about these cannibalistic tiger salamanders is that they seem to recognize their siblings and will usually avoid killing them. Instead, they go after unrelated tadpoles born in the same pond. They can even recognize their first cousins and avoid eating them as well. But if food is too scarce, they don't mind gulping a few brothers or sisters, hence their inclusion in this list. Golden Eagle Like most large birds of prey, golden eagles breed rarely and usually lay only two eggs per nest. Often, one of the eggs hatches with a few days of advantage, and the firstborn chick starts being fed before its sibling is even born. Due to this, the firstborn grows bigger and stronger than the younger chick, and usually wins most squabbles for food. If food is very scarce, the younger chick can eventually become weak and is likely to die because of malnutrition. But that's not all. If food is extremely scarce, the ever-hungry firstborn will actively kill and devour its younger sibling in the nest, without its parents doing anything to prevent the fratricide. This provides a valuable meal for the stronger chick, as well as reducing the workload for the adult eagles, it is always easier to feed one single chick than two. Scientists believe that up to 80% of all second-born golden eagle chicks die like this. Fratricide has been reported in other kinds of raptors, such as the bald eagle, but it doesn't seem to be as frequent as in golden eagles. Spotted hyena. Most large predatory mammals, such as big cats, are born with eyes closed and toothless. In other words, completely harmless, However, that's not the case with African spotted hyenas. They are born with eyes open, alert, and armed with sharp teeth, and start fighting each other at a surprisingly early age to establish their dominance. The larger cubs bite their weaker siblings brutally, and although adult hyenas may try to separate them as soon as the babies are left alone in the communal burrows, they continue with their fighting. Battles between hyena cubs can last for weeks. Baby hyenas have even been known to dig smaller tunnels inside the burrow and fight inside these tunnels, where their mother couldn't possibly reach them. In some cases, the weaker cubs die because of their injuries, but usually their fate is even worse. After being bullied so ruthlessly by the stronger cubs, they become so shy that they won't even dare leave the burrow when their mother comes home to feed them. Eventually, they die of starvation inside the burrow. Besides being a strategy for the stronger cubs, the future leaders of the hyena clan, to eliminate potential competitors, Fratricide is also a natural way to regulate the population. Indeed, hyenas are the most abundant large predators in Africa, and other than lions, which kill some of them occasionally, they have no natural enemies at all. Praying mantis. These predatory insects are famous because of their nightmarish sexual habits. The female often eats the male after sex, or even during sex, usually starting by biting off the unfortunate lover's head. But these cannibalistic tendencies are not just an adult thing. Usually, a female mantis lays its eggs in a special egg case and attaches it to a stem, leaf, or branch. All 100 to 200 baby mantises hatch at the same time and often their first meal is one of their siblings. This is more common when other small insects are scarce around the area where the baby mantises were born. These insects are not the only fratricide invertebrates. Baby spiders and scorpions have also been known to eat each other on occasion. Snowy egret. Snowy egrets are noted for their beautiful, elegant appearance and flight, and they are seldom thought of as brutal animals. However, they are actually among the most prone to fratricide. Usually, female snowy egrets lay three eggs. However, there is a difference between the two first eggs and the third one. The first egg usually gets a high dose of hormones during development inside the mother's body, and the same happens with the second egg. However, the third egg only gets half the dose of hormones, which leads to less aggressive behavior. When food is scarce, the two older egret chicks often harass their younger sibling, which, being more passive, usually can't defend itself and is eventually killed. 
either stabbed by the sharp bills of its siblings or thrown out of the nest. This means more food for the murderous chicks. It may seem strange that snowy egrets lay three eggs if only two chicks are to survive, but there is an explanation for this. If something happened to the two first eggs or to the first-born chicks during the first days, the third chick would serve as a replacement. As cruel as it may sound, the third snowy egret chick is just a spare. Sand Tiger Shark Female sand tiger sharks have two wombs, and each of them produces many eggs. The eggs hatch while still inside the womb, and the sand tiger embryos soon develop sharp teeth and start killing and eating their brothers and sisters, and any unfertilized eggs in the womb, until there is only one embryo left alive in each womb. As a result, the mother only gives birth to two pups, the last survivor of each womb, and since they fed abundantly in the womb, they are already quite big when they are born, around one meter long. The sand tiger shark is therefore the only fratricide in this list that starts killing their siblings before being born. At the moment of its birth, it is already an experienced killer. This brutal survival strategy is known as intrauterine cannibalism, and was discovered in 1948 when a scientist, who was probing the womb of a sand tiger shark, was bitten in one hand by one of the embryos. Although intrauterine cannibalism has been reported in other species of sharks, including the great white shark and even the basking shark, a placid, harmless plankton eater as an adult, these feed only on unfertilized eggs while in the womb. The sand tiger shark is the only shark known to cannibalize other embryos in the womb. Copidomopsis floridanum Copidomopsis floridanum is a parasitoid wasp, one of the most extreme examples of fratricide in the world. The adult wasp first finds a caterpillar and stings it, causing it to become completely paralyzed. Then it injects two eggs into the caterpillar's body. One of the eggs is male and one of the eggs female. But they don't give rise to one brother and one sister. Instead, the eggs quickly clone themselves in a process known as polyembryony. And soon the caterpillar is the still living but completely impotent nursery to 200 male larvae and over 1,200 female larvae. Out of these females, around 50 grow larger than their siblings, developing huge jaws but no sexual organs. It was once thought that these monster larvae were supposed to be the guardians of their smaller, fertile siblings, which would eat the eggs of any other wasp that could try to inject its brood into the already occupied caterpillar. The reason they do this is because the male larvae will actually fertilize their sisters while inside the caterpillar, and only one or two males are enough to fertilize all the females. Therefore, by eliminating the surplus of males, the cannibalistic larvae ensure that there will be more food for their fertile sisters, boosting their chances of survival. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.